It's literally officially April and I don't even I don't even have anything to say about that. I don't want to be one of those people that's like where is the year going? But seriously, like where is it going? Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to do my April, February, March, March favorite. <laughs> please subscribe. I'll leave a subscribe link on the screen right now so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload twice a week. I do beauty vlogs, lifestyle, fashion, home, cooking, travel vlogs. You don't want to miss out on that so make sure you subscribe to my channel. And now that you have done that, I'm going to get started with favorites. I'm going to kick everything off with beauty. The first favorite I'm going to mention is the one I used recently in my everyday makeup routine. He's literally so tiny. Like that is my pinky finger. This is my eyeliner which is like a Charlotte Tilbury color chameleon and it's just the best color ever. I would swatch it for you but I don't want to waste him and he's literally about to keel over and die. I'm just going to save him forever and ever and ever and if you guys want to see this like in action go and check out my everyday makeup routine because it's the most beautiful color I could ever hope an eyeshadow color crayon would be it's like a bronzy golden with little shimmery flecks in it but they're really like small shimmer particles so they're like kind of daytime appropriate they're not super shimmery the next favorite is like a huge favorite this might even be like my favorite of the year these are the L'Oreal new nail polishes they're from L'Oreal Paris these are so amazing like i'm wearing them on my nails right now i've been wearing them this whole month i've worn three or four different shades now okay can i just say that you cannot see a single chip and i painted my nails last friday so this is like six days basically they also have so many different colors and so many gorgeous colors there isn't like a dud color i'm wearing this one right now which is number 440 and then they have like this mink color like a purple a nude they just check them out because they have so many great colors this my friend este kindly got for me this month it's the kat von d liquid lipstick in lolita it's not what i'm wearing right now obviously but it's so gorgeous it's like this mauvey muted plummy pink sort of color it lasts okay it's not like mega long and it's not not long it's like a good amount i do find this like long wand thing like kind of hard i like to like hold my brushes from the tip i guess but so this one kind of feels a bit like wandy but i guess that just like makes me lisa eldridge or something but anyway the color is really gorgeous that's the main reason why i love it so so much next is a bit fancy pantsy and this is the guerlain meteorites base it's so gorgeous like I honestly was so intrigued by this mainly because it looks kind of fun but it actually works it's a really hydrating primer and it just smooths my face and it makes it tight not that my skin isn't tight but it just like is like urgh, like I'm ready for the day and it just makes me glow it sinks in so 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 quickly so you can apply makeup straight over it the next thing I want to talk about is the Garnier heat protection milk now I kind of switch it up with heat protectors sometimes but I really like this one because my ends are so dry from all the dyeing and everything like I bleached my hair a hundred times by the way my hair's kind of like a weird green color right now like I don't know what it's doing I need to dye it again there's this new YouTube thing called a poll you know on Twitter how you can do votes I'm gonna do one of those on YouTube right now so should I go gray or bleach my hair ends blonde again so it's like an ombre or should I dye it all brown and chop the gray off as I was saying my ends are really dry so I've been loving this because as it adds heat protection it also detangles and I feel like it adds a lot of moisture in my hair too that was a point where like my hair just wouldn't swish because it was so stiff and hard and this definitely helps add a nice bit of smoothness and shine I never really have too many hair care favorites but today I wanted to tell you guys about the Redken pillow proof two-day extender which is basically like a dry shampoo but can I tell you guys, like I didn't wash my hair for a whole week this month and it actually didn't even look that bad. I went to this wedding at the end of the month and I tied my hair up and that was like the end of the week. And like no one really knew that I hadn't washed my hair in a week. It smells quite fresh. It's really easy to apply and it doesn't leave a white film. I think that's the giveaway. It kind of helps soak up the oil, but it doesn't leave a residue in my hair, which is what I really loved about this. I never really talk about shampoo and conditioner because I've pretty much been using my L'Oreal LV for the past like six to eight months but I recently tried the Purology Strength Cure shampoo and conditioner because I mean like my ends we've talked about them we, we're over it we're over it. What I loved about this is that I really felt like it helped 
clean my hair without stripping it and that it definitely added on an extra couple days into my wash. Normally on my first day of my blow dry, I never do anything like film. I'll normally like plan my blow dry day before I need to do stuff like when I wash my hair because the first day of my hair wash, like my hair's really fluffy and flat and gross and like doesn't really hold a curl. But this was like second day hair in a tube without making my hair gritty. It basically added so much volume in my hair and it wasn't fluffy and it wasn't gritty. It was just normal. I was so 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 impressed with this because I find that's quite hard for my hair to not be fluffy or I'll use a like sea salt shampoo and then my hair will be too gritty but this is like sit somewhere in between that's why I really enjoyed using this another thing I don't really mention too much is fragrance because I feel like what can I tell you about a fragrance except I love the way it smells and this is the new fragrance from Dior it's poison girl I love 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 the bottle i used to wear pure poison and that was like my evening out fragrance and i oh it just brings back so many amazing memories for me but this one is slightly girlier it's so 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 sexy it's something quite strong and i just oh i love it so much oh i just sprayed that in my mouth if you're passing by dior definitely check this out because it's such a unique gorgeous fragrance and it's quite a nice take on the original poison it's a little bit more girly and fresh something i discovered this month that i'm loving are these caveman cookies now if you look at the ingredients on here it's literally like nothing bad it's like honey almond meal walnuts raisins ginger nutmeg cinnamon that's it like those are all the ingredients and then you open the box and the little cookies come out like this so when i'm like feeling peckish on the go instead of like running into a news agent and getting like a chocolate bar or something i've been like snacking on these and they are really filling as well they're so good they're really yummy and they're quite squishy as well i like squishy cookies not hard cookies what do you like the next favorite i want to mention is the dress i'm wearing right now you guys will have seen this in my recent al spring series this was part of my try on haul and this is a dress from millie mcintosh it's so gorgeous i've been wearing this so 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 much i've even been wearing it like out at night or in the day with like a little jacket and trainers or something and the sleeves are so cute and i love the tie at the front like i'm just so in love with this dress look how cute this is if you guys follow me on instagram you would have spotted this already i realized i've been wearing this and i still have like the plastic on the little bits at the front i'm that person that like keeps the plastic on their phone until it like is half hanging off this is a bag i got from louisa via roma and it's so cute like it says love on it in lego like does it get cuter than that no it honestly doesn't and it has this strap so you can wear it over your shoulder or i just kind of like hold it like this and i just think it adds such a nice pop of fun to any outfit i've seen so many people wearing this and i just had 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 to get it it's such a great statement bag it's so gorgeous you can fit so much in here like don't be fooled like that fits a lot i might even do a what's in my bag but just oh I'm so, so, so obsessed. Like, this guy, look at him. The next thing I wanna mention is the Case Factory and they kindly sent me this case this month and I just love the color. Like, look how bright it is. Like, I highly recommend getting yourself a yellow phone case or like a bright colored phone case because I'm a phone case freak. Like, I change my phone case like as often as I change my bras, but I've kept this one on for so long because it's just such a happy color. Every time I look at it or I take a selfie in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I love you, you're so nice. Please guys, make sure to check out my AL Spring series. I did four videos over Easter weekend. One was a drugstore spring makeup look. The other one was a try on haul from ASOS and Urban Outfitters. I had a spring morning get ready with me and a spring lookbook as well. So make sure you guys check those out. I will link them below as well. And in case you guys wanna see more outfit posts and stuff like that, I will link my Instagram username on the screen right now. But I hope you guys had a great March and I hope we all have an even better April and I will see you guys in a couple of days time with a different kind of video from me. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Yeah.